Afternoon, Tula. So we've actually wrapped up in, in time. Uh, so everything ran according to plan today. Uh, so we had the MP sitting on a panel, just uh, on a stage, listening to some of the inputs that the people from, members of the public rather, had today. Uh, so people would come up one by one. They had to line up um, and then they had five to ten minutes to uh, have their say. Um, there was a lot of interest here. The hall was packed with a lot of farmers, farm workers, um, and just residents from uh, the surrounding rural areas here in Springbok. And one of the people who made a suggestion is the NAMA chief, uh, Paul Swartboy. And I'm joined, uh, he's joining me right now. So, Paul, you made a submission about uh, land. Um, being returned to the Nama people in this area. You said you support amending the constitution. Just bring our viewers into the picture of what exactly you said to MPs today. Yeah, thank you so much. My view is very clear that we must amend the constitution of South Africa and we must also give the Nama people and the African people their land back. My land is not in the hands of my black African brothers, but my land is in the hands of those settlers, those colonial masters and, and, and the boys, also the white people. So they must give my land back. And uh, so I, I, I suggest that the government must move very quick with this because my elderly people are dying without getting their land back. So also my youth are going going into 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 uh, uh, many uh, dirty things nowadays when they get back the land they can live in a dignified manner because uh, land is your cornerstone of your structures in culture and tradition in heritage and everything but uh, the, the moment you took uh, took someone's land you 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 cut him off you cut him off food security, his way of traditional life, his way of, of cultural life and everything. Also the mining rights of, of, of our people. There's our, Namaland is so rich uh, with diamonds, but the land is in the hands of the, the beers and people across the sea. So the government must take back the land so that my people can walk that land where the diamonds is, where the copper is and where the gold is, so that my people can share into the, into the, the richness of this area also. Mr. Swartboy, uh, the committee was asking people specifically to, to say yes or no, but if you say yes, how? And you are one of the people who said yes. So how do you think this should happen? You see, with the, with the programs of the government, it must happen. Uh, there's there's, there's my, many political parties who are going around and say government is busy to take your, your home or your church. It is absolute wrong. Uh, the, 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 the closure is there, 25 is there, so it is already there, but our, our people have no land. So, 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 so they must amend it so that all people can be, get back land and so that all people can walk also that land. Because we are living now on the, on the, on the outskirts of that, of that land. We are living in the mountains because uh, the, 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 the boers take our land. Uh, go to the Orange River, you will see there. My people was living with the goats and animals along on the banks of the Orange River. Now when you're going to a place like Fjolstrup, our people living in the mountains, there's nothing you can do uh, uh, into the mountains. So uh, uh, we can also establish uh, our farms by ourselves. Who's the persons who are working on that farms? It is our Koyan Sun brothers, it is our African brothers who are working on, on that land. And who's the, who's the guys who, who benefit? People who are living in, in Europe, people who are living, uh, sitting at their homes, going to the, to the sea and enjoy life. And my people must starving. It is wrong. So the government must go back and amend it quickly so that my people can get back their land. We, the people from Namaland, is saying yes for that. And also, today I was very angry because that rubbish organization, AfriForum, was making a statement on behalf of Koen Sun people. How can they do that? We reject it, and AfriForum is not talking uh, because the land that, that AfriForum is holding is my people's land. They must give back my people's land. We reject the statement of AfriForum that they speak on behalf of Koen Sun people of, of the Northern Cape and, and, and Namakwa.
Mr. Sarpoy, just a last question. Uh, do you think a lot of people in this community support uh, your, your stance and do you think that going forward that's the resounding call we'll hear from South Africans? Yes. Uh, my people support it. The, the overwhelming uh, uh, people in Namakwa support it. So the government have our consent to amend that bill. Right. I thank you. That is Mr. Paul Swartboy uh, Tulas. And just one of the many views that we've heard here today, um, uh, quite a, a plethora of views presented here and a lot of different opinions on how it should happen, why it shouldn't happen, um, and a lot of questions also posed to MPs uh, that people just wanted them to note and deal with at a later stage.